Hello, I'm the Eternal Newbie. The extra L is for lawful. That's right, folks. This week's Spotlight Player is one of the oldest and worst of them all. The lawful stupid player. You know, that D&D player who will always do the lawful thing, no matter what. Today's that guy is this guy. Waste makes haste, for time is fleeting. A rolling stone is worth two in the bush. Before we begin, if you enjoy my content, how's about a comment or a like? Even a dislike would be alright. All I want is attention. Just look at me. I'm pretty right. Lawful stupid players are players that take the lawful part to the extreme. A perfect example of this is Ned Stark. Now whoa, don't hate me. I like Ned too. I've been reading the book since the late 90s, like before book 2 came out. And yes, I looked it up. The first book came out in 1996. Come on RR, get it done. My boy Ned though, he was double lawful stupid. As soon as he learns Cersei's kids are her brothers, he confronts her. Really? You could have saved your family a whole lot of pain if you'd just gone to Robert there. Come on Ned. But then again, that's lawful stupid. Your typical lawful stupid won't lie. Ever. And in most cases, if you try to lie in front of them, they will call you out. Like say the bard is pretending to be someone else to get info for the party. Even if the info would save lives, lawful stupid is not going to let that happen. Why yes my name is Chester Copperpot. Now why don't you be a deer and hand over the map that shows where exactly you planted explosives in the orphanarium. Nice, I got a 23 round deception. Okay, here you go. Hold your horses there, partner. What are you talking about? You're not Chester Copperpot. You're Michael Knight, world famous bard. Hey, where are you going, stranger? Don't run, it's dangerous. She, these guys. You idiot, how are we going to find the bombs now? Not by lying, that's evil. And killing orphans isn't? They're both equally bad. And that right there is the crux of Lawful Stupid. To them, there is no difference between lying and assault. Jaywalking is just as bad as murder. The party wants to sneak around some bandits. No, this player will Ned Stark into the room and announce that he is there and they are going to fight. No surprise round for you. Then we have the even worse version, because yes, there is an even worse version. There always is. The Jar Jar Binks of Lawful Stupid, because at least the lawful good stupid has a tiny balance. He has his good side kind of holding back the stupid, but not very much. Well, lawful neutral throws that out the window. Say there is a, I don't know, mad king. One who is executing innocents. Men, women, children, puppies, doesn't matter. He's just having them all splattered. Party can't kill him. His guards are loyal and very numerous. But the king is way crazy. Like, he can't proclaim anything without his special staff. A really cool staff that's about six feet tall, with a ruby-eyed raven on top of it. The party ingeniously manages to steal said staff so the king can no longer order executions. The king asks if they know where it is, not even really suspecting them because he's asking everybody. You know where this is going, don't you? Shouldn't be a problem, right? I mean, a party that's good enough to steal the thing is surely good enough to lie their way out of it. But let's say Mr. Lawful Stupid is there, and he don't like lying to kings. I am so sorry, your highness. We've not seen your staff. How about we go out to the village you know and help you look for it? Rolls a natural 20 on deception. The king is like, excellent idea, my friend. Go find it. There are some kittens that have been eyeballing me, and I think they need to be destroyed. How dare you lie to his highness? He's the law around here, and you should respect the law. They took that staff, King. I tried to talk them out of it, but they wouldn't listen to me. Guards, seize them! I'm so mad I would execute you all. If only I had my staff. Ow, it's right here in this bag of holding. Let me get it for you. Excellent. Thank you, my son. Kill them all! Even me? Yes. That's fair. 
Except Lawful Stupid isn't gonna say that's fair because the player won't think so. But the way he plays his character, he should. There are of course lighter versions of this, like the guy who told on the party for allowing a slave to escape, but they can be very extreme. Okay, rating time. Depending on the extremity, the rating can change. But since we're talking spotlight players here, I'm gonna rate the worst of the bunch and give him a solid seven. What do you think? Does that sound right to you? Have you ever met Lawful Stupid? If not, don't worry, you will. They are everywhere. If you have, let me know what happened. Tell me what you think, or if you have a spotlight suggestion, I might be kinda running out of ideas here. Thank you so much for watching, and if you interacted by leaving a like or a comment, double thank you. Remember, as always, do not seek the spotlight, and the spotlight will seek you.